This is MAE 170, Control System, Lecture 4 by Triad. Last lecture, we learned about the transfer function G. In this lecture, we will go over two applications in electrical circuit system and in classic mechanical system. Here in time domain, we have this electrical system. A voltage source V0 of T, a resistor with value R, a capacitor with value C, and an inductor with value L. The input is V0 of T and the output is VC as the voltage across capacitor C. Well, if you took circuit, MAE60 or ECS70A, then you probably know how to convert these into impedance in frequency domain. V0 of T becomes V0 of S. R stays the same. Capacitor C becomes 1 over C times S. And finally inductor L becomes L times S. Again, the input is V0 of S and output is VC of S. From circuit, we apply voltage divider to calculate the voltage VC. So VC is equals to impedance of C which is 1 over C times S. Over. R plus 1 over C times S, plus L times S. Everything times V0 of S. If we move V0 of S to the other side, we have VC of S divided by V0 of S. The output divided by the input. This is the definition of transfer function G. Moving from electrical system, this is a mechanical system. We have an object of mass M. There is spring with spring constant K attached to M. In the bottom, there is friction force FV on M. And finally, there is an external force F of T applying on M. The input is external force F of T and the output is how much this mass M move, this distance is X. Now let's apply Newton's second law for this system. We have F of T minus friction force FV, minus spring force KX, is equals to mass M times acceleration A. FV is friction which initially is a function of velocity. Therefore, we can rewrite FV as C times V with C is a constant and V is the velocity. Notice that V is the first derivative of X and A is the second derivative of X. Therefore, right here we are having AODE, ordinary differential equations. Let rewrite everything. F of T, minus C dx over dt, minus K times X, is equals to M, times the second derivative of x, d square x, over dt square. This is in time domain. We apply Laplace transform on this and move to frequency domain. Now we have f of s, minus c times s times x, minus k times x, is equals to, m times s square, times x. Rearrange this equation, we have f of s, is equal to m times s square times x plus c times s times x, plus k times x. Factor the x out, we have m times s square, plus c times s, plus k, everything times x. By definition, the transfer function is output over input, so x over f of s. This will give you 1, over, m times s square, plus c times s, plus k. This is the transfer function for this mechanical system. This is the end of lecture 4.